So hello and welcome back guys. Today we will do a raincoat mock up. But today we have something different for you all. Today we will not follow the conventional method. Today we will use a different and new tool for the selection part. So we will first select the magic wand tool. Then as you can see till now we used to use the paint tool but now we are using magic wand tool now after you select this magic wand you will see that there is a subject selection option in the up part when you select that you can see the subject of your uh, or the object you are using is selected but as you can see if you zoom in you will be able to see that some parts of it are not selected and some parts are selected for extra so for that we will have to take polygon lash tool and then we will have to select all the parts that we want to select the parts that have been left out we have to select them manually and after you have done with selected selecting the parts you want to add you can just use subtract selection then you can just discard the parts that has been selected for extra so as you can see some parts are it needs to be added and some parts need to be subtracted that you have to do manually with this process this is entirely a new process for selecting the object the only best part about it is that you don't have to select the whole object one by one using paint tool then um the add anchor point tool it is selected just with one a little parts you have to edit so as you can see the parts those are not selected you have to select them just or else it's all selected already selected pre selected for you all what more to ask right as you go to the bottom part you will see the ex there are some extra parts from there and subtracting the parts you have to change the option every time you select or subtract the parts you are adding or deselecting okay keep that in mind and then do it or else you might mess it up after you are done with the fine tuning You can just move on to the next part, but before that, make sure you've done checked all the parts of the raincoat or your object. These are very minute places, and so use very carefully all the tools. Part I want to subtract, so I'm subtracting that part. Just see, just follow how I'm doing each step. So as you can see, now I have selected the whole raincoat entirely. now press control z and control uh, copy this now for the inner part you need to select it with the paint tool because the inner part won't be a smart object that will be a solid color that is why you have to select the inner part with the paint tool separately then with that anchor point tool you can just uh, make the curves prominent of the inner part just so it looks realistic so as you know first we take the paint tool and we roughly select the edges then with the add anchor point tool we just make the curves prominent wherever the curves are the paint tool just takes uh, the straight lines but with add anchor point tool you can just curve the lines so the tuning is far better and for the belt also we will do the same thing we will separate it from the main raincoat just because we don't want it to be a smart object we don't want it to be a part of the smart of smart object that's why we will separate it Sim similarly and the
and now press control and the main shape as you can see the part is separated now the shapes that we have taken from the painter we just delete them with as you can see we have taken the parts separately we don't need the shapes anymore group this all these object problems you know the all the layers then name them as object id now we will take a rectangle to place the smart object make sure it covers the whole object then decrease the opacity just so you can see you can see right through it just so the edit could be easier for you then press right click then increase the opacity and select convert to smart object then decrease the opacity once again and then press control t and wrap select the wrap option then with create we can just adjust the points a little bit after we do that we'll be able to adjust it after this we will be adding grids using the paint tool and then we will adjust the lines you can skip this part if you want we can just take a rectangle and then you can do the letter part uh, the masking option as you have done so far you can check the process in our previous videos but here i am just making sure that the x i'm just doing some extra steps then i have masked it use the mask option you are the now after you've done the masking part now press control shift and select the belt and the inner part of the hood of the rain coat and then we will make the foreground color black and then press control black color backspace okay so as you can see the smart object is removed from those part and then select the layer of the hood and then uh, place a solid color there and similarly for the belt also you just place a solid color so as you can see the whole rain coat is in as a part of the smart object but the belt and the hood the inner part of the hood is a different color and those are not a part of the smart object and then copy the whole rain coat from the main layer and then press this place your design on your smart object okay you can just take whatever design you want control t and adjust the size of the rain coat the picture that you are going to use then press control j and copy another one make sure you do not stretch the pictures too much you know that will ruin the picture also the designs as you can see it is updated with the main picture and then we will change the belt's color we will we'll, we'll give a solid green just to make sure that the those parts are not the main part those are just the inner parts of the ring coat so similarly that we see the main part is very fancy and the inner parts are not like that now we will make a copy of this whole rain coat and then we'll make two more copies so three in total and then we'll name them usually linear uh, sorry shadow midtone and light and for the for the shadow we will go from normal to linear burn then to for midtone we will go to linear dodge at and then images adjustments and then we will just adjust the levels a little just so the lighting is nice and it looks more realistic the ob you know there is always a light in front of object right so that light needs to be adjusted in order to make it more realistic and then we will switch on the light layer and make it clean from normal change all these three accordingly this is the same thing for all the mockups that we do most mockups we do now similarly change the levels a little adjust them a little you can change the level as long as you think that you are not satisfied and it looks realistic okay you can change them according to your pro according to your requirements now for both the layers now we will go to hue saturation and we will make it make the layers zero okay this hue should be zero so that the color takes more realistic look okay the hue tends to make it more uh, 
you know toned which doesn't look now we will take the background uh, work on the background we'll just take a solid color and then we'll take make three more copies and then we'll change the then we'll work on the background there we will just change the option to linear burn and as you can see that the effects are changing then select all these light mid tone and shadows and then name them as effects you can go to after you have done all of this you can just go to smart object and then change your uh, design from one pattern to another immediately okay just see like how i am changing another pattern here this one is a floral pattern make sure you press control g for copying the pattern always save the pattern and then when you right click on it you'll see that the main picture is updated with the design and after you have changed the design just make sure that you change the details like bells and the inner part of the hood the background you can just change it every part of this mock up is uh, editable okay you can change any part you want according to your preferences so that is for today thanks for watching